the Spore Civilization stage. I have never played Spore before, and whether you have or have not, this video series is perfect for you. This is part four of my five-part Spore series. I've done this series in five parts so you can watch your favorite stages, or you can watch all five parts to get the complete Spore experience. Don't worry if you haven't seen the other episodes yet, you can watch them after you watch this one. All you need to know is we've progressed into the city stage, and this is what we look like. Okay, and the first thing I'm seeing is we've got this big overhead view and the curvature of the planet that we're on. I don't know if you guys have been noticing this, but with each passing stage, the gameplay camera reflects the stage of life that our civilization is in. For example, in stage one, we were under a microscope. Stage two, we were playing behind one individual creature in the midst of a hive or nest. Tribal became top-down view for the first time, and now civilization stage, we're going even higher up into the sky looking down, and I imagine space stage is going to be all the way out in outer space. Space. So we're going to touch on building customization here shortly, but what we will go through is how you color these different buildings. So we have our paintbrush here selected, and you can choose one of these pre-made ones here, and you've got five different pages. So if you don't want to take the time to customize all of this, you can just go ahead and pick one. And as you can see, it just populates everything for you here. Really, really opens up a whole world of possibilities on top of all the customization for your species. Now, if you want to get more detailed about how you design these buildings, you go from complete styles over to partial style. Then you have your walls and roofs roofs, windows and doors, and details. So as an example, I'm just gonna choose this one here to see what it does. Okay, so this is how it makes our building look. And just like in the creature creator, you can hold down these buttons here and you get a entire wall of color choices. If I choose that, I get like a darker color look. Details, what does this do? Oh, nice. It's like choosing the trim almost. So this last option is something that's new to me, the paintbrush mode. So it brings out this little like paint bucket tool. And as you can see, as I'm mousing over this, it's highlighting these different sections. So it's almost like you can color individual sections of your building. So you can really go crazy with this. And we've got 12 pages of patterns on top of it and colors. How does this work? Let's find out together. If I choose this, I kind of like that wood look. And perhaps do this. No, I don't really like how that looks. I can undo it right here. Choose just the sides. I kind of like that with the sides being more of a wooden sort of look. Maybe the flooring could be like a metal sort of look. Oh, we got like stonework? Oh, that's nice. So you got some futuristic looking ones and some alien looking ones, of course, because this is Spore after all. I think for right now, I'm gonna stick with maybe like a stonemason sort of look. I like that one a lot. Now I wanna experiment with these colors. It looks like this first one, got all of these color options here. Oh, wow. I can choose, let's say this pinkish looking thing and this yellow looking one go like this and that's what it comes out like. With all of these different modules you have and these different patterns you have and how many things you can paint with this, no two people could come up with the exact same design. It's pretty much impossible. There's just too many features. And most of these textures are going to be just fine the way they are color wise. But like if you wanted to, you could choose whatever colors you wanted. I think this Capitol building would do the trick. This really brings our city to life and it makes it feel more of our own. So I have to figure out how I'm even playing the civilization stage right now. So I've got these citizens running around and I can't select them. So it's not quite like the tribal stage where you pick and choose the different creatures of yours and send them around commanding things. It's probably more of like a city builder style gameplay now. We've got buildings, vehicles, decorations, anthem composer, and city outfitter. We've got lots of features, let's dive in. So under buildings, we've already got our city hall and then house design a new house increases city population and vehicle cap. Well, let's see. It's time for us to design a house. So first we're going to need a base and any of these is going to be good as a base. Maybe something like this, the bachelor vat. And very similar to designing our creature, we have all these different options. We can extend this way, make it super long, go up and down as well. That is a tall house. And you can take these different modules and actually build upon itself like that. You can have maybe this sphere looking thing. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Something round, we got to do something a little more spherical. Hysterical! So for those of you that are not in game design, what a lot of game designers actually do is they'll take parts that are intended for one thing and use them for something else to make it look like it's serving a different purpose. For example, this is supposed to be just a connector piece, maybe like a balcony or something like that. But if I went like this, it can look almost like an alien sort of support piece to support the weight of this giant bubbly sphere. Hysterical! So you can choose different doors. I don't know how much this has an effect on the gameplay. I think it's mostly designed. So I can add doors to the sphere, it looks like. Just have them walk out. Ah! 
now that that's done with, let's put the door down here and you can do more scaling options too. So you can do that, which gives you more of like a beveled sort of look. And for housing, it looks like this is mostly just a decoration section and you can add decorations to your yard, not just the building. And I don't need this to be center either. It looks like I can be all the way out here with it. Add some flowers to the front yard and then details for our last option. I feel like this is the section they just threw the remaining items that they had made in here is just like design things. <laughs> Now I wondered, there's this option down here called the paint like option. Beautiful, this is exactly what I was hoping for. So this opens up your Sporpedia, and it looks to me like you can paint it like your creatures, which are these different patrons of mine from different uploads. I wonder if I painted it like our creature, what that would look like. Oh, that is hideous. I don't know what that is, but it looks all right. So you have to name your buildings too. The subscribe house. If you haven't yet, you've been quietly watching my content without subscribing. <laughs> And now we need to make an entertainment building and a factory. Is it going to have us make a whole separate one yet again? My. Well, let's put it this way. If you enjoy customizing buildings, this is your stage. We're just going to use Sporpedia. I really like this classical Mary. I'm not sure what this is. But what's really cool is you can choose it, press edit. And now I've got this building that's way better than anything I've made so far. Go into this paint mode here, paint like, and we're going to paint it like Titarville right there. Bam, we're all finished up. And that is like the most glorious looking entertainment building I have ever seen. So as you can see, you can get as wild and as crazy as you would like to go, or you can make it super quick. Choose something pre-selected and choose a color scheme, whether it's your own or something else. And I'm gonna do the same for factory. You got some weird looking ones like this, cooler factory, container square, container long. The design I was making, I was just throwing things together, not really putting much thought into it. But as I'm looking into this, think about the possibilities you've got here. And I'm sure the community, as well as some of my viewers have come up with some really, really cool things. So I settled on this one, paint like, classical Mary, done and done. Okay, now that we've designed our buildings, let's move on to vehicles. I'm going to ask you all a very simple question. Do you like to customize things? If you do, I've got news for you. Good news, in fact. Go to stage four, civilization in Spore, and design all day. Here we are designing yet another thing. I love this, but I'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed. However, these aren't three separate buildings. So we're gonna start off with the different bodies. We got these different body choices here. We got some boat looking things. Let's start with something like this. Maybe we'll go for something speedy, you know what I mean? Extend it out, shorten it up, make it stubby. Oh, this is more than just design. Okay, so these different parts actually affect the performance of the vehicle. So I've got this one air breather, which gave me health and speed. But as you can see, I'm taking this other part, which is just a body part, and I can put it here, I can put it back here, I can bring it up, have it float for now, and then connect it eventually. There's a lot of stuff I can do with this. Scale it up, scale it down. Looks like a vacuum cleaner. And tab key absolutely works here as well. Now a nifty little feature, if you just grab the one part, move it up and down, as you can see, it moves the one part. If you hold the shift key and grab this one part, you move the entire thing, the cockpit. And what's great too, is this appears to be adding more health and speed to your vehicle. Maybe back here you have like a commander sits back here. And now we've got different wheels. Got these tread wheel things. I like that a lot. Oh, you got these different crawler legs too. These back ones I'll have like this. And I can extend this out. Religious? What is this, a megaphone? You will hear our message. They'll never see me coming. So now we have a religious land vehicle. Why is it religious land? I'm not sure why it's religious. Religious sea. My oh my, looks to me like we can make a boat now. Okay, time for Sporpedia. I like this one, very unique. Okay, and now we have decorations. We've got these different plants, it looks like. Purely for looks, it says, so we can just kind of drop these around. Can I scale them? Nope, that just zooms in and out, but I can rotate these. What's with this placement pattern though? I don't understand how that works. Anthem Composer. Let's listen to this real quick. Pick a beat. So you've got a background beat, it sounds like, and then you've got an anthem. Pick an instrument. Add a note. 
wow, you can add notes to this? Music is a very powerful thing and it builds bonds and connections to things on a deeper level than just visuals do. And I think this is a very nice touch because you can essentially pick the music you like for your nation. And then we have ambiance. Mix up to four ambiance layers. Let's see how it sounds with one layer. Two layers. Three layers. Fourth layer. And lastly, let's see what it really has to offer by randomizing three different songs. We have our first one we just heard. Let's hear songs number two and three and how different things can sound. Enjoy these creatures I made for my patrons, including my newest patron at the end while we listen to these songs. And song number three. Okay, now let's take a look at City Outfitter now that we've listened to music. So we're still wearing our tribal stuff from the tribal stage, so let's get this stuff removed and see what options we've got now. It is a custom in our city to wear hats on the tail. Senata? <laughs> so we've designed our buildings, we've designed our vehicles, and now we've designed our citizens. Okay, and now it appears like we're officially playing the stage, so I'll buy a land vehicle to start. Oh, that was instant. Okay. I guess we'll buy a house first. That is a ridiculous house. I shouldn't have made it so... <laughs> Spherical. Spherical! Enough! And I'm out of resources already, it looks like. So if I go this way, I've got a geyser of some kind. Unclaimed 1,000 a minute. So I'm guessing that's how you get your resources. I've got one here too. Send my tanks by right clicking. We've industrialized it. The blue village? Oh, it's us, but it's not us. Oh, they're scared. What did I just do? I took out the tribe? And as you can see, our income is finally going up. So we're farming this speckle resource. And if you remember from our creature stage, we jumped into a geyser that looked like that and it made us fly super, super high. It's allowing us to build more stuff. So let's get a factory built. Factories increase income when placed beside houses, but also lower happiness, especially if you're entertainment. Now don't be upset, entertainment. We're happy about that. I'm not sure what this network system is, how like these are connected, but those aren't. Black Cloud requires four cities, and these people are the same, it looks like. What happened to all the patron creatures and all the friends and allies I made in the last stage? So we can contact, give gift, or convert city. It's a strange sound. Great allies such as ours will stand the test of ages. Speak your mind, neighbor. Our people admire your wide tracts of land. Your people are descended from limbless space slugs. We come offering gifts. Do you accept? I can give them money. I've got 4,300. Let's just see what 4,000 does. Well, I've always counted on the kindness of strangers. My pleasure. That was it? They're just like, hey, thanks? So if I right click. Oh. They're playing that music. You will hear our message. So I'm using like my propaganda? Convert city? I'm using propaganda to convert them. Do not trust your leader. I don't think they're gonna last. It looks like it's converting right now. You converted this economic city by religious means. Economic cities can establish trade routes to manage your relationships and eventually buy other cities. Choose the city's specialty. I'm gonna try economic this time and see what we can do. Economic land, create or select your economic vehicle. If you're making me make another vehicle, I swear. 
guys, how many vehicles do I have to make? It's a bit much. Let's use the car call. Oh, I'm coming to get you. So what exactly does an economic vehicle do versus a religious one? So pink nation, bribe the workers. Oh, so with economic, you can bribe. <laughs> Oh, that's it? You can just buy them out? <laughs> so I've gotten a ton of vehicles together. I just used as much money as I could to buy as many vehicles as possible. And I'm going to get them all together, and I'm going to try to convert these different cities. So I guess religious is a form of attack as well, because it's attacking health. It's just doing it in a more peaceful way. Convert city. With this many tanks, I imagine this is going to go very quickly, and it has. We converted the military city by religious means. So does that mean we get military? It looks like we do. City planner. Military land. So sick of designing Sporpedia. Oh, I like that. So I'm gonna get a few of these and I'm gonna start doing some military. So I think I need to build more houses first to allow for a bigger military. Start buying a ton of these. Titar bots, assemble. So now we have economic means, religious means, and war means. Capture city. Oh, wow, the destruction. They've got boats out there that we're taking out as well. And there it goes. What is this? We're taking flight? Success, even the mighty wind now obeys our technology. And now we've got military sea and military air. Sporpedia. You know what, I'm just gonna keep that one pink because that's nice. Military air. That's a pretty cool looking plane. You can build a religious plane. An air concert? We got this black cloud thing and I want to do it here. Black cloud requires four cities. Oh, there is a black cloud. Is stuff raining from the sky? Little creatures? I'm not seeming to have a problem with resources and I really haven't spent that much time getting resources. As you can see, I'm just dropping house after house to build a bigger army. Because the more houses you have, the more vehicles you're allowed to carry. And let's capture this city with planes. Oh, they got lasers? It's like a bunch of bees attacking a poor innocent thing, just obliterating that one ship. That plane approach is really powerful. The deceased all around. Okay, let's get some more houses down first. Let's get that air fleet. That is such a powerful tactic. Wow, look at that air fleet. Okay, here's another nation. I'm just gonna use all that air force again. Why wouldn't you? It's so strong. Now we have enough for a fanatical uprising. Converts all cities. Just see. Is that it? I won. I won. Advanced to space. And just like that, with all these religious captures at the end, the war ended. So let's summarize. There is a ton more customization that I wasn't even aware I was gonna have. And it is absolutely great until it isn't. But the upside is there is such a large catalog of things to pick from that when you get sick and tired of designing things, you can just pick something and choose its color like you saw me doing. It did start getting repetitive towards the end, but it got more fresh as I attacked in different ways. By military means, religious means, and that finale at the end, that was insane. Is this better than tribal stage? Yes, undoubtedly it is. And this is where we're gonna pick up during the grand finale of the five-part spore series. Until next time, I'll see you later.